Kapit is the seventh division in Sarawak where three districts are administered Kapit District, Balaga District, and Song District. The 38,934 square kilometers division is located in the inland areas of Sarawak where it is accessible from the Sipu district by water through the Rajang River via transportation like express boats, ferry, speedboat and others. Kapit district was founded by Charles Weinerbrug as Fort Kapit in 1880 as a barrack in an attempt to stop the sea dia the Iban natives of Batang Ai and Batang Lupa River from migrating and attacking the Orang Ulus village. This fort was a symbol of peace between the Iban and Orang Ulu as the war came to an end with the 1924 Kapit peacemaking agreement. The fort was later renamed to Fort Sylvia in honor of Brooke's wife while the town's name remained as Kapit. The population in Kapit as of 2010 was recorded at 112,762 people and it includes the Iban people, Orang Ulu, Kayan, Kenya, Chinese and Malay. Therefore, the modern-day Kapit is a harmonious land where people from different backgrounds can be found sharing a table in restaurants and even speak Iban as if it is was their own. Being near the water, Kapit is also known as the main supplier of the most expensive fish in Malaysia called the Empurau. Kapit natives used to fish for Empurau for food, but nowadays the fish can cost up to 1,000 ringgit per kilogram and in present day local fishermen are fishing it solely for profit. It is one of the rarest species of fish that feeds on buah kabang and has a slow growth rate which can take up to two years for it to weigh around 1 to 2 kilograms and another year to reach 3 to 5 kilograms. The emperor must be gutted as soon as it is pulled out of the water to preserve its freshness. There is a total of 45 primary schools and 4 secondary schools in Kapit. In higher education, there is only one skill-based institution, Giat Mara Kapit, which provides two courses in the 2020 intake, which are motorcycle technology and welding technology. The motorcycle technology course offers two levels of education, which is the Giat Mara Professional Certificate and Malaysian Skills Certificate Level 2, while the welding technology course offers welder certification 3G and 6G, Giat Mara Professional Certificate and Malaysian Skills Certificate Level 3. Di bahagian Kapit, kita menawarkan uh, dua jenis kursus pada ketika ini, iaitu kursus teknologi motosikal dan kimpalan. Untuk teknologi motosikal, kursus yang dijalankan adalah selama 6 bulan dan kita menawarkan SKM tahap 2. Setelah tamat kursus uh, para pelatih nanti, bolehlah mereka uh, melanjutkan pelajaran ke lanjutan iaitu di Giat Mara Sibuti dan Giat Mara Kota Semarahan. Walau bagaimanapun, terdapat juga pilihan lain iaitu uh, mereka boleh uh, melanjutkan pelajaran ke IKM ataupun menjadi usahawan. Untuk teknologi kimpalan pula, uh, para pelatih akan menjalankan kursus selama satu tahun dan sijil yang ditawarkan adalah SKM tahap tiga. Uh, setelah tamat uh, kursus nanti, para pelajar, para pelatih bolehlah uh, menyambung lanjutan di Giat Mara Sentubong ataupun turut menjadi usahawan. Despite being located in the rural area, Kapit has a consistent development in time. They have the necessities for all to enjoy, such as the eateries, banks, hotels, markets, religious establishments, library and shopping complex. Di Pustakaan Wak Kapit, kami menyediakan perkhidmatan, pinjaman, sudut kanak-kanak, ruang, ruangan bacaan untuk kanak-kanak dan di dewasa, dan kami juga menyediakan bahagian rujukan untuk pelajar-pelajar sekolah menengah dan juga untuk orang awam yang ingin menggunakan perpustakaan kami. Dan kami juga ada menyediakan yang terbaru adalah Digital Community Center yang baru dilancarkan di Uliah Ahmad Perumat Pena Menteri. Dan kegunaan untuk Digital Community Center ini adalah untuk orang awam mencari maklumat, mencari pekerjaan dan memudahkan mereka untuk akses 
kepada dunia luar. Dan perkhidmatan lain adalah kami ada dua cawangan perpustakaan, perpustakaan. Satu adalah di Song dan satu lagi lah di Belaga. Dan kami juga ada lima buah perpustakaan desa untuk kegunaan orang, orang ramai di luar kawasan Kapit. Religious establishments in Kapit include Kapit Church, Kapit Hok Leong Tieng Tua Pek Kong Temple, and Masjid Jabal An Nur Kapit. One of the main attractions in Kapit would be the variety of longhouses. One of these longhouses, Rumah Pundung, is a wooden longhouse located 10 kilometers from Kapit town, welcoming tourists and visitors to stay overnight with the families that reside in the longhouse. Rumah Pundung is also well known for the tattoo artistry made by local tattoo artists. For visitors that intend to know the beautiful local culture, they can also opt for the homestay program hosted by Rumah Lulut, offering both modern and traditional longhouses by the Tisa River. For those on the hunt for souvenirs, they can head to Rumah Gari by the Kain River, where they sell various designs of Puak Kumbu, a traditional Iban's woven textile. Saya merupakan penerima anugerah The Best Borneo Designer Award di London pada Disember 2019. Saya telah membawa rekaan yang berkonsepkan ready to wear dengan berinspirasikan sentuhan Borneo menggunakan kulit siput bagi menghasilkan motif ukiran iban seperti pucuk rebung, paku pakis. Sebagai anak kelahiran Sarawak khasnya Kapit, saya berasa sangat bangga kerana berjaya membawa nama Sarawak ke peringkat antarabangsa. Since Kapit is near the Rajang River, the district hosts annual events such as the two-day competition Balik Kapit Raft Safari. The Balik Kapit Safari is a rafting competition organized by the Tourism Task Group of Kapit and is held along the challenging Rajang River. This competition was held annually since 1996 and has five categories. For anyone who loves sightseeing, it is recommended to visit the Kapit Town Square and the Kapit Clock Tower, which are the landmarks of Kapit Town. They can also go for a stroll along the Kapit waterfront and enjoy the breathtaking sunset view while waiting for the nightlife to begin. The Kapit Street Market begins operation around 8 o'clock in the morning and goes on until 10 o'clock at night. When the sun goes to height, the night market becomes a heaven for food lovers as there will be stalls selling local delicacies such as satay, dumplings and various pastries. When it comes to food, Kapit's most famous delicacy is the fried roti canai. It is said that this fried roti canai can only be found in Kapit and especially at Gelanggang Kenyalang, otherwise known as GK by locals. Morda kami canai goreng Cana itu udah udah lama dalam 20 lebih tahun uh, kami dah berniaga dari empat generasi uh, nenek kami mak kami kami dengan anak kami jadi uh, jadi mula cana goreng itu memang popular di Kapit dah di seluruh Malaysia pun saya dah hanya di Kapit aja tempatnya dekat uh, Gelanggang Kenyalang. Uh, jadi macam kami beroperasi dari pukul 6 sampai tengah hari lah sampai habis. Jadi kami mula sari dalam 20 kilo, 24 kilo. Dalam sari ada dalam 300 keping ke 400 keping. Uh, canai goreng itu nya ada produk dua, dua jenis, canai goreng biasa dengan canai goreng telur. Kami itu dibantu dari Jabatan Pertanian, mesin dah ada empat masa itu. Jadi, jadi sekarang kami dapat mula banyak lagi lah sebab pakai mesin. Saya dah pakai tangan macam nenek kami dulu lah. Sekarang jalan, sekarang jalan udah ada, kami mula makin banyak lah. Amun macam hari Isnin sampai Jumaat dalam 
Ah 15 kilo mun satu ahad kami mula lebih gi dari ya. Sebab jalan udah ada orang datang dari Kapit dari eh dari Sibo, dari Kucing, Srike, Sibum dulu sidanya datang memang nak makan canai aja lepas ya sidanya pulang. Sebab di negeri lain memang seda, hanya di Kapit aja roti canai goreng tu ada. Hmm. On a rather expensive note, Kapit also offers exotic seafood which is the empurau fish. Steamed empurau is said to have a creamy, savory, sweet and a hint of wild fruit. While most households in Kapit are often depicted with high societal status being able to afford four-wheel drive vehicles, most outsiders are not aware of the roads being limited in Kapit, which gives them little to no other option but to buy four-wheel vehicles. Most cars will not reach the inner areas of Kapit where there are no roads but muddy and slippery paths and even having to drive up a hill. Kapit has endless possibilities in becoming one of the most exotic places to visit in Malaysia. Culture being preserved within longhouses, landmarks, annual events and famous delicacies are perfect to fulfill any traveling trip. Further development to this area would severely lift this precious little town into one of Sarawak's go-to places. In the initiatives mentioned by the current Chief Minister of Sarawak, Datuk Patinggi Abang Johri Tun Openg and his working team, Team Abang Jo of Gabungan Pati Sarawak, Kapit is listed as one of the towns where the Rumah Mampu Mili RMM projects will be done. With this affordable housing project, residents will have the ability to own a home of their own in this special little town.